In this video, we are going to learn about how to import your customers into DoubleTick via an Excel import. So first of all, we are going to prepare our data. Your data can also be on a Google Sheet. We have prepared a sample data set wherein the data contains our customer's full name, their number, the group that we want to upload them. And in group, you can see we have created two separate group named broadcast list A and broadcast list B. Your group names can also be depending upon the plan that your customer is on or the city your customer belongs to or even any other custom group that you prefer your customer to be a part of. Now groups are important to run campaigns because a bulk broadcasting happens to a group containing thousands and thousands of customer it is important to create your group or segment in a proper way. So we are going to also upload the data uh, wherein there is a relationship manager's office SIM card number mentioned over here, wherein different numbers are mentioned and these numbers are our team members with which we have invited them to double tick. So for example, for the customer named Rupesh, one of our agent whose number is ending with 832 is assigned so that when we upload the data and Rupesh responds to any of the broadcast messages, the chat would automatically get assigned to this particular agent on double tick. Now we have company name, email ID, birthday, wishing date and anniversary dates, loyalty points, disposition state, country and all other details. So first of all, we are going to download this data in Excel format. Simply we are going to head over to double tick and we are going to enter the broadcast list section. In broadcast list section, you do get an option to manually create a list and add numbers one by one. In the mobile version, you also get an option to add contacts to a broadcast list from your phone book. But because we do not have any concept of phone book on web version, we will directly click on import contacts from your Excel. Now our Excel import supports all types of Excel. So in this particular data, you could see that we had Indian customers as well as Canada leads, right? Two separate folders were there. So while uploading this particular Excel, first of all, we need to select the particular file. Once we select the Excel, double tick would prompt you to ask which sheet contains the data. In our case, Canada leads was a blank sheet and all the data was in Indian customers. So we are going to select India customers and click on next. Now this part is very crucial because over here, we are going to map our customers information with double tick customer attributes and the data we had in the Excel. For example, what should be the name of the customer? In the Excel, it was full name. So double tick has automatically mapped it. The phone number is now also automatically mapped. It is important that once you are uploading data, right, the numbers are of the same country code. So that even in some of the numbers, even if you do not have country code, if none of the numbers have the country code, you can directly concatenate country code by selecting on this drop down. But if you have one single Excel file, which has a mix of two or three kinds of country code, then the number format uploaded would not be correct. Third, we are asked to select agent phone. Agent phone basically was a relationship manager office SIM number. And in channel name, this is most crucial. We have to select which would be our differentiator. In our case, the column named group was the differentiator to create two separate channel named broadcast list A and broadcast list B. So we are going to click on group. Now tags can also be added. For example, if you select the state and you select comma, a particular column which has tags can also be imported directly while uploading the contacts via Excel. 
Now we have also given option for is blocked and opt out. That means if you have some data whom you would want to proactively block or whom you would want to opt out from communication, that also you can select and map over here. And finally, we had a custom field named email ID. So we are going to map it to our email column of the Excel file. Now, once we have done all the mapping, we are going to hit on import and we are going to confirm that we want to upload this Excel. You will get a pop-up stating that your Excel is importing and we will update the registered email ID when all the data has been imported. And at the same time, on the right hand side, you will be able to see the live status of the Excel import. Here with a green tick mark, we are able to be sure that the Excel has been successfully imported. So we are going to once reload the broadcast list section and we will be able to see that the two lists containing the numbers that we have mentioned is now successfully imported onto double tick. So now once the broadcast list is being successfully imported, we will go ahead and send a template to this broadcast list. You can select from one of your existing pre-created templates and you can hit on the send button. Now here, as we had discussed earlier also in a previous video, we have the option to map the variables. So we will click on this button and we will click on name so that automatically all the names mentioned on our Excel sheet, which was imported to double tick, gets replaced with the variable and we can send personalized messages to our customer. We'll click on next and we will click on send now. Part of this broadcast, you would be able to see that on WhatsApp, the name has changed while we have received the message. So as you can see, the name has changed while we have received the message. That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Do try out sending your first template message in your first broadcast channel.